Tony, your first manager, was a tough baseball man with a gruff voice and an iron fist. He'd teach you how to play the game right. He was one of the best managers of his generation, and he's here tonight. Dick Williams. Padres were playing the Phillies that night, and a young left-hander named Sid Manji became part of history by allowing the first of your 3,141 career base hits. Here's Sid Manji. in that, Sid. You were far from alone. In fact, Greg Maddox gave up more than anybody. 38 of them over the years. You just got things started, that's all. Two years later, San Diego basked in the glory of a championship season. Remember the year that a rookie from Little Rock, Arkansas had? He hit this opening night home run, and he wound up with 20 homers plus 75 runs driven in. And in game three of the National League Championship Series, his three-run homer iced the Padres' first ever postseason win. Welcome back, Kevin McReynolds. And then setting the stage for the most memorable moment in the history of the Padres. It was you, Tony, in game four of the National League Championship Series, who singled with one out in the bottom of the ninth. And that brought up Steve Garvey. Well, here's Steve Garvey, Gwyneth second. High and away, the count one and oh. Gwyneth at first, I should say, there's one out. Sometimes when I'm an outfield and you get a hot hitter really having a great day, it seems like he hits every other inning. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I swore they, they hit out of order at times. What are they doing back here again? <laughs> Want to know the count? And, oh, a little slight fade. A little fade. Tony Gwynn, 33 stolen bases on the year. Gwen's thinking about going the way Smith bent that left leg. That can be a tricky one. That's close to a balk move. Deep right field. Way back. Cotto going back to the wall. It's gone. Home run, Garvey. And there will be tomorrow. And then the next day in Game 5, it was you again, Tony, with a decisive two-run double in the seventh inning that sent the Padres to their first ever World Series. What a year. While the Padres were winning their first National League championship, you were an all 
All-Star for the first time, and you won your first National League batting championship, symbolized by your first silver bat. So here, symbolically, a World Series ring number one, All-Star ring number one, and silver bat number one. In 1985, the uniforms mercifully changed to pinstripes, albeit brown, but you didn't change except to get even better. You were an all-star again in 1985. Here's all-star ring number two. better have an awfully big trophy room at home. Well, the hits kept coming, the smiles kept coming, the infectious laugh kept coming, and your second child was born that year. Your daughter, Anisha. Here's Anisha. well-known hard work and dedication were paying off for you when in 1986 as an all-star for the third time you won your first Rawlings Gold Glove Award so here's all-star ring number three and gold glove number one through hard work and dedication you'd become the best at your defensive position and a rookie joined the team that year. Someone you knew from your first year in pro ball, 1981 at Walla Walla, Washington. He's grateful to this day for all you taught him along the way. Welcome back, John Crook, who's accompanied by his manager from Walla Walla, Bill Brock. For Kruk, that's formal attire. Well, Tony, you reached new heights in 1987 when your 370 batting average was the highest in the National League in nearly 40 years. And it was your fourth All-Star performance, your second Rawlings Gold Glove, and your second Silver Bat as the National League batting titleist. When 1988 rolled around, you delivered your 1,000th career hit, and it came off the legendary Nolan Ryan. You were on your way to winning your third silver bat. Bring it on out. Then in 1989, it was your third gold glove, your fifth All-Star game, and in a memorable head-to-head -head competition against San Francisco's Will Clark, you knocked six hits in your last eight at-bats to win your fourth silver bat. that year too and a big reason why the Padres were in it was the stellar season of a sensational closer he saved 44 games while winning the Cy Young Award here he is Mark Davis 